Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Linz, and today we are touching on under eye fillers again. If you haven't watched my first video, um, I did vlog my first under eye filler experience at the Skin Girls about six weeks ago. So if you haven't watched that video already, I would suggest going and watching that first. Um, I will link it in the description here. But if you have already followed that video or are just interested in what I feel or how I feel about these under eye fillers about six weeks ago, continue watching. So it's been like almost two months now since I got my fillers. Um, if you Again, if you watch the first video, I go into why I got them, which number one was to improve my self-confidence. Before I got the injections, I had super big bags under my eyes and just felt I needed so much concealer to take on like day-to-day -day tasks, just even going to the grocery store, for example. Um, so yeah, uh, I did get quite a few questions on my video, so I wanted to address a couple questions you guys had and also just go a little bit more in depth because the video took off a little bit more than I thought it was going to. So let's get into it. So I guess the most asked question was actually how long the fillers last. The fillers are supposed to last six to nine months. Um, again, I've never had fillers before. This is my first filler experience, so I don't really have any insight on how long they will last, but I will update you guys if you're interested in that, so just let me know. I think I personally will get the fillers every year. I don't know if I could afford to get them twice a year personally, but I definitely will do it every year because I'm so impressed with the procedure. So I will definitely be revisiting the Skin Girls and am interested in getting them done a second time for sure. Another question asked was how much um, filler was injected into my under eyes and total it was one syringe so that's one milliliter and he actually injected it under my eyes here but he also injected a little bit above my brows because most of the aging in your face actually happens along the sides of your face not on in the center so instead of putting half of syringe in either eyes he put majority in the under eyes but also put a little bit up here to just lift lift my face a little bit to prevent my eyes from drooping anymore. Another question was, did he use a cannula needle? If you're not familiar with that, it, it's actually a needle that um, shoots the liquid out the side of a needle versus the end. And he did actually, when I visited, I did vlog it. If I have the footage, I will insert the footage here. I'm not too sure if I do because I use this camera for all my blog photos too, which shameless plug if you're not following me on Instagram please follow me. My handle is at Lynn's Rosso. Um, yeah, so I'm not too sure. I pretty much just film everything and delete it almost right away. So if I do by chance have that on my laptop, I'll insert it here. Let's That's try a cannula. And try and get it to focus. So if you look, you can see on the side of it. So Ooh, you want a hard time? Here. Um, he did explain to me the whole scenario about the cannula needle, which he did use in my face. I think, actually, I don't know, to be honest. I don't know what the difference is. I'm not going to pretend I do. But someone asked, and yes, they did use a cannula needle to insert the fillers into my face. Another question that was asked quite a bit, which I did touch on in the first video, is how much it is. This this video will be a lot shorter, so to, just to get to the point, um, it is in Canada, in Vancouver anyways, around $700 for the syringe. Um, I guess you could go to other places that might be a little bit more inexpensive, but I personally don't trust um, med spas I've never been to. I don't really do well with needles so I just really wanted to go somewhere reputable and to people I trust and that was the skin girls so I think $700 is well worth feeling alive and awake and feeling confident and beautiful so yes it's around that price point in Vancouver but I'm thinking that there are more inexpensive places but I personally would not take the risk for a like a lesser expensive place just to experiment because you don't want to experiment when it comes to your face for sure 
So all in all, I'm feeling so happy with the procedure. It's been almost two months. I, nothing has changed. I know I'm wearing makeup, makeup right now, so I will um, throw in a little clip of what my under eyes look like when I take off my makeup tonight for you guys. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. I'm wearing less makeup. I feel more confident. I'm super happy about it. Anytime my friends like ask me about it, I just rave and... I have to say, obviously, if you're in Vancouver, please go visit the Skin Girls. They are amazing, and they're so good at what they do. They're so nice, and they really explain things to you and kind of dumb down the procedure. That way you know what's happening rather than people throwing all these fancy, fancy words at you, and you're like, what's happening? It's so good. I'm so happy. Um, but the last thing I wanted to touch on is that even if you do get under eye fillers, it is a temporary fix and that your aging is not going to stop so if you do get under eye filler just remember to continually love your skin you need to continually take care of your skin use your serums use your um like skin masks i do eye masks make sure you take care of your face even if you do get fillers or botox or whatever you do just make sure it is a daily routine that you need to keep up to preserve your skin as much as you can. I hope you enjoyed this video and I answered all your questions and if I didn't please ask more and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!